Welcome. Let's talk about the difference between a spirometry and a PFT. So a spirometry basically includes the FEV1 and includes your false vital capacity as well. So whatever goes on in the first second followed by the full, uh, basically the full breath that the patient exhales. Uh, you will have uh, the FEV1 FEC ratio, especially when you need to look at for patients with COPD and kind of risk stratify them and assess their severity. You will also have the flow volume loops as well. And this can be done in any doctor's office. It doesn't have to be a pulmonologist's office. You get the flow volume loops and you'll see where there's any concavity in the, uh, in the expiratory limb. And the concavity over here may give away whether the patient has, uh, has any evidence of obstructive lung disease, such as COPD, asthma, and so on. So if you don't find the FEV1 FEC ratio falling within the expected uh, less than 0.7 range or not lower than the lower limit of normal, uh, you may want to look at the, uh, the concavity of the curve as well. And you can also see based on this whether the, the uh, loops are, are consistent, whether they have a, a, a high peak, uh, and uh, whether they have a, a straight line coming down so there's no hesitation which may impair the clinical utility of the findings. So that's what spirometry contains. Now the PFT is the exact same thing that spirometry does in, in addition to your total lung capacity and your vital capacity. And this is really great when you're looking at restrictive lung disease and you want to follow up on that in these patients with um, interstitial lung disease, sarcoidosis, and so on. The next thing the uh, PFT has as well is a DLC or diffusion capacity. And that looks, uh, especially if you're evaluating for causes of uh, oxygenation and issues with oxygenation, uh, the DLC or the diffusion capacity for oxygen is ex uh, of carbon dioxide, which is a surrogate for oxygenation, is, is what's also con uh, con contained in the PFT. So we've just spoken about right now, the spirometry has, let me just recap that FEV1, has the FVC, even has the post-bronchodilator post changes, so once you expose the lung to, to albuterol, along with the flow uh, volume loops. And the spirometry then, in addition to PFT, this PFT then will have as well the total lung capacity, it has the vital capacity, plus it has the diffusion capacity as well to assess for oxygenation. Thank you.